Hey guys, Sean V here, and today I want to ask, why do you like RTA or why don't you like RTA? And if you're wondering why my voice sounds a little different, it's because I recorded this entire video without any audio. So please point and laugh at me as you enjoy the second recording. Yes, you read the title right. And now you're wondering, if Sean B get his medicine today, did he eat something wrong? Is somebody putting a gun to his head? Why is he saying this? No, trust me, because I know you feel that too. Surrounding RTA is just negativity. We talk about someone who so RTA and it's all about violent proking. It's all about tilting experience from stupid emoter. Yeah, I'm talking about you who, who emote after every violent prock. Like, what's wrong with you? Who hurt you? And even though we have probably 50% win rate, you lose one, you win one. We are still playing it every single day. But then why am I doing this video? I just want to talk about why we enjoy RTA. And maybe that's going to help somebody who's pushing. Rarely you see anybody talk about how to be better at RTA, how I climb, how I progress. But when somebody trying to say that kind of information, you get slapped with, were well, you free to play though? What's the free to play option? Oh, look at you. You have that XYZ ABC unit. RT must be a breeze for you. Drafting doesn't matter. Rune quality doesn't matter. Pivot pick, who give a shit about that? So even though a lot of people clam and do well in RTA, they're hesitant to share because all they get back is not discussion, but shame. People are gonna have a lot of things to say in the comments, I feel. But if you're sick of RTA, you don't wanna do it, you hate it, then maybe today's sponsor for the channel has the right game for you. And you guessed that right, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is one of the most popular game in the world and today I will give you my top 5 reasons why you should be playing Raid Shadow Legends. Number 1, it is free. Such an amazing game for the price of absolutely zero dollars. Number 2, it is available on both mobile and PC so you can play anywhere anytime without losing any progression. You can play Raid at home on your sofa, on your gaming PC, or on the tree somewhere in the Amazon. Number three, there's an enormous, humongous amount of champions to collect among many different factions to satisfy your fantasy needs from demons, angels, elves, dwarves. Number four, you can play raid however you want. There is something for everybody. You can grind dungeon to progress your characters day to day, or you can join one of the most competitive PvP and mobile game has ever seen. Number 5, raids get new content update very regularly. So the game always feel fresh and there's always something new to do. What I'm currently enjoying about raid is the new Hydra boss that is very challenging, give me a hard time, but I'll try my best to conquer it for the great rewards. And it just so happened that this month there's gonna be a fresh rotation of the Hydra boss for me to keep challenging myself in this content. Other than that, there are tons of events and tournaments every single day. Valentine's event as well, so that you can get your hand on a brand new legendary champion. So what are you waiting for? Join the game right now with a link in the description box down below or the QR code on screen. New player who join the game right now using my link will get a new awesome champion, Virgis. Together with that, you will get 200k silvers, one EXP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shot. You will find your reward here in your inbox in the next 30 days. So stop waiting and use the link in the description box down below to join the game and support the channel or use the QR code on screen. Big shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I think the most important reason why people come back to RTA every single day is because they lose. In farming, we strive to get a 100% team across every single dungeon. It is so good that we can auto run every single day for thousands and thousands of runs. Which means PvE, you are prepared to win all the time in farming and TOA and everything. And then you go to do your PvP battles. In arena, you want your arena offense to win all the time as well. Your arena defense can lose, you don't really care because you don't really play defense. And then you go to Guild War, it is also PvE. It is an AI controlled defense, so you know exactly what they are going to do. So you can destroy them with the perfect counter, you win all the time as well. And then you go into Guild Siege, where your guild expect you to win most of the time as well, or else you are not a worthy member. So in every aspect of the game, the game prepares you to win most of the time. But then RTA happen. You don't win all the time. Actually, you lose all the time. No, Maxi's dead. No. Oh, wait, wait. No. Glancing, glancing, glancing. You f
So in RT, every match is kind of unpredictable. You win one, you lose one, you win one, you lose one. There's a lot of emotional up and down. If your first game is a loss, you want to come back to get that W. You want to win to recover your loss, but then you want to keep playing because you are now winning. You want to feel the winning emotion even more. You play the next game, you lose, you can't stop. So you keep going and going and going and going. I still remember a lot of nights where I went to bed at 2 a.m. I just wanted to do a couple of RTA wings before I go to sleep. And then 30 wings happen. It's now 4 a.m. and I felt like shit because I kept going. I needed one more win. But I think that's what's good about gaming is that you don't win all the time. When I play Dota, when I play other shooter game like Apex Legend, I don't win all the time, but I can sit there and play for five hours because whenever I win, it's gonna feel absolutely amazing. The second reason, diversity. I know there's a meta going on all the time. You see the same, I would say 10, 20 unit all the time. But even if you play the same team all the time, you will meet different people who try to fight against you differently. Even if you use the same unit, let's say you are a cleaver, CC cleave or just normal Lucian cleave, any kind of cleave, you pick the same five, seven unit all the damn time. There are people who are trying to outspeed you, there are people who are trying to out-tank you, there are people who are trying to use weird passive unit to cut in between and stop your cleave. So depending on the situation, you have to draft differently. Even though you are drafting the same unit, maybe the last one can be different from time to time. You're fighting many different kind of team all the time, especially in today's landscape where there are so many strong options for RTA. There's a lot of, lot of good unit for RTA. So you see different people trying to counter you differently. I think in the lower rank, you might see more diversity. In the higher rank, where the meta is more defined, people draft more carefully. They choose the best option in the best possible scenario. But in lower rank, you will find weird things. They will draft strange. And I think it's great. So there's a lot of diversity in RTA. Even though there's a meta going on all the time, you see the same unit kind of all the time. Every match is kind of different when you hit ready. Speaking of the meta, there's always people complaining about the meta. Every meta is just the worst meta compared to the previous meta. It is always a bad meta for someone because in this game, they don't give you all the options. So there'll be meta where some people thrive and some people doesn't get to play. And there's some meta where the opposite happened. But the cool thing about that is there'll be the counter meta where people find unit to try and counter the things that's currently in meta. And that's where diversity and a lot of funny creative options happen. But people refuse to look into how to play the game better, how to counter, how to be creative because there are so many options in the game. They just sit there and complain about the meta because the meta is always bad. I find it really hard to have a conversation about RTA in general unless you have a small group of just RTA dedicated player and you just talk about strategy. But then in general, it's just, it's just hard. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Is it just me? And lastly, I think it is the progression. Some people progress from like F3 to like G1. Then they go through C1, C2, C3. Maybe this season, they buffed the right unit. They got to G1, G2. Maybe next season, they buffed the wrong unit. They have to learn again. So I think there's a lot of relearning and progression in RTA in terms of your play style your drafting, your runes. There are so many things that goes around that same unit that you draft every single day. But then when you can make small adjustments, it feels really, really good. The moment you discover a draft that can counter the meta, you feel really good about it. And then you can further improve your draft by maybe building new unit, maybe getting new unit. Maybe you get a rune that can now allow you to build a certain unit. I remember I couldn't build Gianna at all after I got Gianna. I have to start re a crit rate slot 4, which I've never done before. But the moment I got the rune to build her, it's just so different. The same goes for many other unit. Let's say a Changpeng or the Hei Gang. I didn't have despair rune. I had to start farming despair rune. Every despair rune I got, I felt a little progression came with it. And I think that just, that's just great. And I think every season I have to relearn the meta again. I become shit again. Like this season, I was good, next season I'm bad because the meta changed, the unit people use changed slightly, new counter pick appear in the meta to destroy what was strong before and I have to relearn everything over again. It's tough and it's challenging and I think that's why people enjoyed it. It's not just spamming the same thing over and over and over, Lucian everything, Lucian everything, counter everything with Tractor and Sin, counter everything with Lulu. It's, 
is different a little bit here and there every every season that change and i think that just that's just amazing but other than that i think rita is absolutely the worst thing i've ever done in my life but maybe that's just the only reason why we do rita every day we just want pain like every day we crawl back to the game and just scream hit me daddy come to us inflict more pain to me with violent props do it maybe that's the only reason